we have a candied bright bark, silberry snow cake, glazed glow berries, and a flask of ardent dew. But it means that your travel form is out of a soul shape, and you can change your shape at any time. Raft is very useful. Too far. Let's see what we catch. Hello, everybody. It's me, Laura, again. And this video today was sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. So, if you haven't already heard of Raid Shadow Legends, it is a fantasy, turn-based RPG that you can play right now on Android, iOS, and PC for free. In Raid Shadow Legends, you can collect over 500 champions from 13 different factions that can help you quest throughout the game. So some of my favourite things about Raid Shadow Legends include the variety of different champions that can help you throughout the game. My favourites have to be the High Elves or the Dark Elves, in particular the Dark Elves. So as you can see here, the champions that help you throughout Raid Shadow Legends have a variety of different weapons that can help depending on the situation. So for example, we have Blindseer, who's using more of a stave, and in different situations, you can use Lydia the Death Siren. She looks absolutely amazing. And that's one of the other things that I really love about Raid Shadow Legends, is how beautiful this game is. This game can be played at 30 or 60 frames per second, and it really shows by just how smooth the game is and how beautiful the details are, especially in her very demonic wings, and I love that so much. There's also Visix, the Unbowed, and I also love this one too because she uses a mace and shield, and I love the fact that just because you choose elves, you're not limited to the stereotype of staffs. You can work more as a defense character or an attack character. You should definitely be downloading Raid Shadow Legends right now, because they are having their biggest ever update. The main event is the Doom Tower. It's a giant tower with 120 floors and a bunch of secret challenge rooms, and 12 really powerful bosses to take on. On top of that, they're also releasing 14 incredible new champions just in time for the holidays, along with a whole variety of different holiday events and tournaments. So if you'd like to get a head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description, and if you're a new player, you'll get your free Void Champion Bulwark, 50 gems, an XP booster, some energy refills, and even an Ancient Shard as soon as you get in-game. So all the rewards that I just mentioned are waiting for you right now, in-game, under this tab. So you can also find me in the game under the username Lemurex, L-E-M-U-R-E-X, and if you're quick, you can also join my clan. So I definitely suggest giving this game a go by checking the link out in the description. Not only will you be playing a really fun RPG, but you'll also be supporting me in the process by downloading the game. So thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video today. Hello everybody, it's me Laura again, and today I'd like to warmly welcome you to another World of Warcraft gameplay video. In this video today, I will be exploring the wonderful area of Ardenwald, which is the home of the Covenant that I'm personally in right now of Night Fae. So feel free to sit back and relax as we explore this very beautiful and relaxing area. 
So, Shadowlands came out just over a week ago as I record this video and here is my updated character. So, I am still a Night Elf Fire Mage but I will probably change that soon to a Frost Mage. So, let's have a look around. I really wanted to emphasize the music in the background just because the music is very relaxing in comparison to a lot of places in Warcraft. So as you can see, it's a beautiful forest, lit up sky, and me. So let's have a look. They're selling. Always in stock. My wares are second to me. We have a candied bright bark, silberry snow cake, glazed glow berries, and a flask of ardent dew. Nice. Take pride in your work. We have a medley of transplanter spices. Inconceivably aged vinegar, smuggled as Rothian produce, rich grazer milk, luster wheat flour, rune etched vial, lestrite setting, dark parchment, penumbra thread, and luminous flux. Okay. I'm going to avoid fighting as much as I can. So one of the really interesting things about being in the Night Fae Covenant is that you have a soul shape. I'm chosen the stag right now for mine. But it means that your travel form is out of a soul shape. And you can change your shape at any time. It's so pretty and really, really calming. I think regardless of whether this was the best covenant for my class or not, I still would have gone for it, just because it is so relaxing and pretty and very ethereal. This is probably my favourite visual area in WoW. So thank you so much for all the feedback on my previous Warcraft video with my mount collection. Since that video, I've only gotten a few maps. Um, I did end up getting the Azure Drake that I spoke about in that video, and I've gotten a few video. I've gotten a few mounts from here too. So I can't fly as well as nobody else can here yet. But soon, I'm sure we all will. This area focuses more on soul animals, creatures, stags, things like that. This is one of the major main areas. It's very pretty. And the sound of the water is really pretty. Now, because my character is being updated so much with so much gear, I'm not 
updating the transmog just until I feel like I'm set on a certain amount of gear. So I'm really liking Shadowlands so far. I really like Torghast, even though I think as a fire mage I got whooped really hard on it. Um, which is unfortunate. So I'll probably switch to Frost just to give myself a slightly easier time. I think I am going to remain um, for fire on PvP though. I just prefer it. But we'll have to see how things get updated. When I last checked the DPS charts, I saw that Frost and Arcane were very high up the charts. However, I don't think I'm ever going to play Arcane. I find it to be, um, I already have enough to concentrate on as a mage, and I don't think that focusing on my mana consumption as well is something I want to do. It was something that I personally really struggled with as an arcane mage in Mythics. So we shall see. So now we've gotten a lot less colourful. We're in more of a marshy area. Even the music's gotten slightly moodier. I figured I'd just run for this, just to focus on it. But the tree is always in sight. It's actually a really good compass point to help you get back to where you need to go. Very celestial. And I really appreciate the celestial look of the woven lines in the sky. It reminds me of the celestial mounts and pets, but more specifically, I think the immersion of this really reminds me of Legion. When you look up at the skies in Argus and Legion, it's very expensive and very unique to all the other areas in WoW. And I think that this particular area reminds me of that. So I find this just so calming, so relaxing. Um, I would say, I think my least favorite area is Revendreth or Maldraxxus. I think Maldraxxus, but I think the best mounts come from Maldraxxus because they have um, bone mounts, which I think are really cool. It's got a beautiful miss to it. I love that so, so much. So yeah, I'm enjoying Torghast. Um, just trying to learn the dungeons right now, so I've only done Heroics. Is this the Mr. Dungeon? I'm looking at what's on the map right now. The Slumbering Emperor. I don't have that one. This is the other side. Okay. I really don't like the other side. I think that's um, a really tough dungeon. I think that's the one with the big guy at the end. Um, I've only run through the dungeons a few times so far, so we shall see. So if you'd like me to go through the other areas and explore those, let me know in the comment section and I would be very happy to. I actually need a reason to go back to Maldraxxus. I haven't, apart from the Theatre of Pain, um, mob spawning. So I think I'll be starting Mythics soon. Um, I just need to decide whether I'm going with a frost mage or the fire mage. I think it just depends on how much I struggle as a fire mage. I've noticed considerably even recently that my fire mage has been much lower in the charts than it should have been. But that's what you get when you nerf combustion and you take away the hyper thread 
Mr. Rats. I don't remember what way we came from. Let's go this way. But just look at the creatures they have, the subtle glow that they have to them. going to try my best to avoid fighting anything just because I really want to focus on the ambience and the sounds of wow instead. So I was thinking um, of doing a, don't want to jump down there, a mount run soon. we shall see. I don't know anything yet about um, BFA dungeons, if those can be soloed now. I hope so. Ooh, something to mine. I'm terrible so far at finding the uh, mining locations. We could do some fishing. Let's do a little bit of fishing. So fishing is also one of the things that I really enjoy in the game. The raft is very useful. Too far. Let's see what we catch. You won't be able to see in the bottom left, but I can tell you, I got a lost soul. I like the iridescent ones that it drops. So if you see these pools, it means you are more than likely to get a fish from one type of fish instead of a random fish. So it seems like this pool attracts lost soul fish. And we're done. So I'll just bring my raft. We'll set a course to go in a different direction. Let's head this way. And actually, I may use the flight point to bring us there so that we can explore it a little bit easier. I've forgotten now how the best way to get there is. The game is still so new, so it can be easy to forget. These people, there we go. Let's see where we should go. Um, let's go here and then we'll take the path going up north and we can have a look at that area. So we're on this beautiful moth. Moths are very underrated and I think they're just as beautiful as butterflies. But you can really see why people would choose this covenant. Um, the mounts here include giant frogs and stags and a cradle. There are a couple of easier ones that you can get that I haven't gotten around to getting yet. I don't want to rush Shadowlands just because it did take the developers years to make and the content for me personally, I don't want to rush through for that reason. Um, just because I want to really be immersed in the environment, the gameplay, as well as the lore. So we are here. Now let's take this path down. Oh real grumpy guy there. Let's see if we can avoid him. Oh, he has a friend. Uh oh. That's not a happy sound. We'll go a different way. We'll definitely go a different way. I never know how to pronounce these names. Um, uh, 
they look so Welsh until the M in the end. If you took that away, that would be more of a Welsh name. It would be like Angurd. Um, Kemwiriafi. Tishirinali. And they have these beautiful little animals scattered around Night Vale. I'm sorry, Oddworld. And this is a tranquil soul. And it's very cute. Let's head this way. So this is a good example of one of the mounts that you can get. Thank you for your fabulous display. So pretty. Let's see where we're at. We're gonna head up here. And you can get him. Here's a man. This cool guy down here. and this bird are fighting one another. He's cool. He's a pet battle. It's not really my thing in the game. I like to focus more on mounts. I wonder, I mean, if I learned the mining locations a little better, maybe I could just do a mining video. I don't know if that would be relaxing or interesting though. So, you have to let me know. Do let me know what types of videos you'd like me to do. You could um, just witness me um, <laughs> restraining um, tension of Torghast. I'm not fighting you. I refuse. I totally shadowed out with that. Okay, so we're in a we're in a negative area now. Uh oh. Oh no. It's supposed to be peaceful. Be peaceful. I'm sorry. Oh no. Give up soon. Right, go away. Bye. Wow, very popular. I am very popular. <laughs> Oops. It's because we run out of um, the places to run. That's my fault. Okay. Going about now. This is the vibrant Arden moth. It's pretty. Just quickly run out of here. We'll go over the bridge and we'll go up in here. Which is apparently somewhere I haven't been. Always stick to the paths. Otherwise you might have a fight. Saying Ardenwald this whole time. Maybe it's Ardenwield. Ardenwield? I think Ardenwield's probably best. So we are heading up now into this mountainous area. Hello. 
of the very pretty drops of colour there. We have seed harvesters. Is someone dropped? It's unfortunate for them. I know I'm going to grab him, but we'll see if we can just scooch around. Another fire mage stepped in. Oh, these are so cute. A gormling nibbler. Lots of different colours of them. It's funny because I focused entirely on this being an exploration video. And I'm also kind of scouting at the same time now for mining nodes. I'm gonna grab him too, but I won't mean to. Sorry. Don't kick me off my mount. Appreciate it. Thank you. Still come to bother me. Thanks. Um, so far I really like the look of quite a lot of the different um, sets of clothes on gear on the game. I don't really like this, but these are just generic greens and blues. Um, I actually have a quick look at the appearances. So this is the... I actually haven't had a proper look at these yet. I really like this one. It's almost Plague Doctor style. This has a similar feel to it too. The shoulders are nice. It's really pretty. That's just from the campaign. I don't have any of those yet. It's from Renown, the Queen's Conservatory, and Winterborn. Interesting. I think my favourite. That's definitely up there. I like that one, I think. I think this one has something to it, but I think I prefer the robes. I always think mages make more sense with robes than leggings and pants. This person is just fishing. Have a good time. Okay. Yeah, that really pretty flute in the background. So I'm not familiar with the mining nodes here, so I'm going to have to find those at some point. Um, I did twice fight the Mystic Rainbow Corn. And I got a bow the first time, which was useless, obviously. And I got my Stag form afterwards. I didn't expect that, so that kind of surprised me. I'm sure I'll do that later. It's definitely a lot that can keep you busy in Shadowlands. There's all the tall gas layers, it's working on your legendaries, there's working on your renown levels with your covenant, exploring the covenants. It's definitely a lot of content. Um, and the more updated daily and weekly, so enough, I think, even for the most um, exhaustive of players to get through. So I think I'm definitely going to stay here for quite a long time. I don't know if this implies I haven't explored here or here. Let's have a look. Um, up here is where um, the rainbow, rainbow horn 
mount would normally spawn. I was restraining a yawn to sun because I'm very relaxed. This may be the most relaxed I've ever been making an ASMR video just because the music's so gentle. Oh no. Well that isn't really helpful, is it? Okay, try again. Still looking for things to mine, but no luck so far. I guess I'm just looking in some of the wrong places. So we are now right at the top of Autumn Wield. Don't need to be here. So let's take a little run round the top and see what we have. I love the fact that the higher you go up, you can see just how expansive Autumnwield is, even from the decaying tree here to the personal home tree there, and one here. It's really pretty. So we have some different items sold here. We have the Dewdrop Ale, Touchberry Wine, the Winter Melon Brandy, the Mulled Fay Wine, the Honey Plum Pie, Torchberry Bundle, the Ripe Watermelon, Grilled Slumber Shrooms, Wild Hunter's Stew, Charred Rune Flank, Steamed Gorm Tail, Poached Dried Egg, Midnight Star Pepper, and Glitter Snap Snow Peas. That's such a good word. Glitter Snap. Glitter Snap. Okay. So I think this is where I will leave it. I think this is a really pretty place to leave our autumn wheeled exploration video. So thank you so much for watching this video today. If you would like to see any more Warcraft related ASMR videos, let me know in the comment section below what you would like me to do next in Warcraft. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Take care everybody. Goodbye.